Hey, here's a really easy way of putting a cut flap into a window. It's perfect for sliding windows like this. Uh, it can be horizontal or vertical. And it's a really good tip for renters as well. So we get rid of the fly screen and we'll keep that to put back in later. So the first thing we need to do is to just identify exactly where the sliding part of the window is, because that's the area we're going to be measuring for this. So you can use Perspex uh, or Core Flute. Um, I find that Core Flute is a lot cheaper. So first I'm measuring it so that it just fits inside the window sash. Um, make it too long and you won't be able to bend it to fit it in, and too short and it will fall out. So you can score it with a knife, uh, but I find the easiest way is to use a jigsaw. So I'll use a fine toothed uh, jigsaw blade and just cut through there. Being careful to make it nice and straight, it'll make your life a lot easier. This is the cat flap I'm using. It's the cheapest one from Bunnings. Um, however, it does mean that I have to trim it down as it's meant for a door. This one here is for glass, and so that's ideal. Uh, you can also get that at Bunnings. So just check to see exactly how high your cap flap will sit. You need to make sure that the flap will actually open without hitting anything. And just mark a little bit above it, and that's where we're going to cut the core flute again. Again, if you make a nice straight edge here, it will make your job a lot easier. Double check that your core flute will actually fit in there without falling out. All right, we're then going to just mark where we want the flap to be. If you do buy one of these cut flaps, you can just use a, a simple hacksaw to trim it down to size. Cut out the hole for the cap flap. And we can take off the backing paper and then fit the cap flap according to the instructions on the box. And double check that it still opens. I like to put a bit of foam around the edges. Uh, it gives a nice seal. Uh, you can use any type of foam. Um, you know, window seal works well. Uh, this is, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's what concrete is used in between uh, concrete joins. I find that it, it's quite cheap and works well. So I'll stick that around all the edges. If you cut it a little bit, wider than the core flute itself, it'll give you a nice snug fit in the windowsill. So jam it in there and try and bend it into place. And this is where you find out that you may have made it a little bit too long and it's really difficult to get in, but there it is. So the foam is great for keeping out a little bit of breeze and also stopping bugs from getting in. Perfect. So it's a great idea. Um, if you go away on holiday, you can always just slide the window up and take it out and lock the window. Um, and another thing I'd suggest is to just get a little bit of dowel or something to put into this gap here so that the window can't slide open by itself. So there you go, a really simple way and the total cost was about $40.